guys, welcome back to another iPhone development tutorial. This one's going to be, as you can see, in iOS 5. I've done a few already, but since iOS 5 has come out, um, a lot of people are jumping over. A lot of my tutorials are no longer useful on iOS 5. They have to have some modifications. I have this exact same tutorial done for Xcode 4 using um, SPJSON rather than the native uh, iOS 5 JSON, which we're going to use in this tutorial. This is going to be a fairly advanced tutorial compared to my previous JSON one. It's going to return a lot more information and dynamically assign things and positions to it. So first of all, we're going to be using the uh, Bing API. So go on to the Bing developer site and create an API. You can probably use my key for this. Just don't try and release this because it probably won't work. Um, okay, so once you have your key or just watch what I'm doing with mine and play along, make a single view based application. Uh, let's call it Bing 5. We're not using Storyboard. I have a tutorial using Storyboard later on. Don't worry about it. We're going to use the automatic reference counting. It's it's just memory management pretty much. It does it for you. And my other tutorial has all the manual memory done um, in it. If you want to look at that version as well, it's just to keep with the OS 5 setup for now. Okay, now I do everything as much as possible programmatically. I don't like using the interface builder and I definitely like using Storyport. It's just people say it's easy, I don't find it easy at all. This story is going to be about four or five videos, hopefully less. We'll see. I'll pause the video and put code in rather than making you watch me type it all out. But here's a few things you kind of should watch. We need that navigation controller later on to push off of, and rather than using the nibs or doing any kind of finicky stuff, I'm just going to erase this line because we're not using the nib and then UI navigation controller nav equals UI navigation controller a lock in it with root view controller and it is self dot view controller though if you can't see it's gone out of the screen a little bit it's just the exact same here as there so that's grand. And then do 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 erase that and nav. Perfect. So that's now gonna give a navish controller to our main view controller. Okay. We want to test our connection. First of all, we have to uh, we're not gonna borrow the interface for quite a while because the main things we need are our are our methods to do all these things. So I don't know why it doesn't give you these anymore. It's very annoying. Okay. Uh, property. Non atomic. No, sorry, I don't even know. Yeah, it's way too early for those. Void. Search Bing. Bing. In a string text. So this is going to be the method used by our. Um, sorry. Our main uh, search thing. So it's going to search Bing using the input we put into our search bar. And our second method is going to be void get data. NSS data. NS data. Uh, data. Actually, no, it's going to cause problems. Response. Perfect. Okay, they are what's going to be we're doing all our legwork for us. Um, I don't think we need anything just yet. We'll make a um, just a little header here in a string JSON string just to have later on because we're going to need it. Okay, that looks all good to me. Now into our M file and let's make a bit of room. Delete. Uh, feck it. We'll just recreate it all as we go. If you load, next room. Okay. Okay. So let's call our methods. Void uh, search Bing. Grand and void uh, get data response. Okay. Now for search Bing, we need to do something a bit crazy well no it's not crazy it's just we don't we want to basically send off a number of things when you do a search on google or ping or yahoo through a browser 
you're sending the text yourself behind the scene that's sending off a few more details and I'm just going to copy and paste this in and explain it to you okay now before you go all crazy and wondering what this is sorry I actually need a property here I forgot to put that in uh, property not atomic retain in a string off view this is one of the things I'm going to explain now. Synthesize off value. Okay. Now, this is what we're setting off. As you can see, we're setting off four arguments. Okay. First of all is the API cert. If you have made a ID, you'll have seen this string. So this part here. So this is saying, okay, we send off to the live.net JSON thing with this app ID. This number here is my app ID. You may be your own, or you might be using this one, doesn't really matter. Now the second thing is the query. Okay, so what are you sending to this link? Text. Text is going to be our, what we're sending off to it. So that's the second argument. Third is the source, is the web. That's fine. The web is the internet, so we're sending it to. And the offset. The offset is how many values we are going to return. Okay, you may have noticed that's a string and not an int. That will be explained a bit later. It's just uh, we only want a certain amount. If you've seen applications which load loads of cells at once, as in like you keep flicking down through them all, you might notice it judders and jumps a few seconds at a time. That's because trying to pre-render and render frames at the same time, it's very memory heavy. We're going to avoid that by only loading several cells at a time. So now we have to cast this a bit because we can't just send off an URL, a string. So ns URL, let's call it URL equals ns earl earl with string earl string there cast how easy is that um and then ns data let's call it data equals ns data data with contents of earl earl how easy is that Okay, now it's going to tell us data is not being used because we haven't quite used it yet. Now, what do we want to do with our data? We have all this data being retrieved from the URL. It's going to come back in a huge mangle of information. Of course, self get data data. So now we're going to be using our get data method. Now, as I said, this is now using the new parser built in deck to IS5. So we have to do a few little things first of all. So this might take a few seconds to type out, just try and bear with me. So first of all, NS error. Error. This is just to be to fill the uh, declaration. NS mutable dictionary. If you've watched my tutorials before on um, JSON and all these, you'll know that it comes back in an array or dictionary. We want to get a dictionary of all these and then get down to the array of results we want. NSJSON, JSON serialization, JSON object with data. See, now is why we need all these little thingies. Uh, then we have our response options k nil option so just none error is just error if you declared sorry guys someone came into the office there just finish off that line error is and error okay now we want to check we're almost heading towards 10 minutes now it's going to quickly finish it off the check we'll get the results and it's log uh percent add first um, json now before we can do this, we have to tell this to do something, because right now we're not calling the methods. First of all, um, how we set the off value of the string, we want to set that to a null value just for now, because we want to return all the results just for now. Although if we didn't do that, we'd get nothing. And then self search bing, I'm going to search for the string iPhone. So we're hard coding the search for now. Just for now, don't worry, we're going to set it up nice and good in a few minutes to be very, very nice and tasteful. So I'm just running the simulator now with the string. As you can see, we are returning a massive dictionary with the search term iPhone. 
yeah, the results are all these things, all these nice little bits and bobs information. For I think we have six million results, six or sixty-six million. I can't count. Either way, we're returning a lot of results. Okay, I'm going to end it here. This is showing you how we're getting a mass amount of data. Next, we're going to make a table view, programmatically, make a custom table cell and a data data class to hold all these to put this results into then extract them into the table cells and then eventually you're going to push the table cells to a new view using the URL to open the web view. Um, I'm going to do, make the classes now and take you through the code rather than type them all out because that should cut it down by about maybe 10-15 minutes. The code in the, the two classes should be no nothing new to you they're just setting up a data, a data class and then um, some sub views for cells but I'll talk you through each bit of the code as I go through it. Alright guys join me soon for the next part. See you soon.